forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Something that we can do with these cameras we've been talking about really cool time lapse. Watch the sunrise down in Big Sur this morning. Just gorgeous. Wow. It, yeah, isn't that neat? Oh. It's going to be good for a while until the fog comes in about July. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah, not going right. to see much, but that is really fun to do. And we have them all over the Central Coast. So we'll be featuring those as we go through time. Here's the view right now. Skycam 8 Salinas looking down into town here from high top Fremont Peak. Gorgeous evening. Again, there's the orange glow there on the horizon. Couple patches of fog out here. They didn't get in on us. Offshore flow keeping everything uh, well off the coast. And everything else you see here is all snow. We talked about that western snowpack way above average. In most cases, about twice the amount you'd normally see at this time of year. Temperatures uh, mostly 50s through the state. We do have a 61 though in Sacramento. A lot colder up in Tahoe. Folks have been going up there and going, it's really windy and a lot of the lifts are closed down. Yeah, a lot of north winds up there and they're gusting 50, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour at times up on the high peaks. And that has been uh, troubling for some of the ski resorts in terms of getting some of those lifts open on the higher terrain. 20s and 30s across the nation. It's January. You wouldn't figure on uh, something any different than that. But look at this. 30s in Detroit and Cincinnati. 51 in New York City. We got a big old cold front here. And it is traipsing northward all along the eastern seaboard. It's middle to heavy rain, moderate to heavy rain, I should say. Interior parts, New England, another nor'easter. if you're saying, didn't we just see this a couple of days ago? Yes, same thing, same pattern, nor'easter running up the eastern seaboard. So they got a winter storm there. That will exit. Air travel gets better uh, up in New England over the weekend. We got a weak front coming through, just enough for some snow, though, through parts of the northern Rockies. This is going to drive some Arctic air into the center of the country, so it's going to get real cold. All of this passes us by on Friday, but watch what happens on Saturday. Some of this starts to back up on us, and we may just be close enough to get some snow in the Sierra, maybe three to six inches, maybe a little bit more to be a quick mover, and maybe some showers here starting uh, on Sunday or Sunday night. We're going to be watching that closely for maybe some raindrops. Futurecast shows the warmth that's over us now will be with us through tomorrow. Friday will start to transition and then watch what happens on Saturday and Sunday. That cold air that's coming around that low gets over us by Saturday afternoon and temperatures drop off by 10 to 15 degrees. It's going to be a lot colder Sunday and Monday. Forget about the 60s. They'll be long gone by early next week. 30s and 40s though overnight tonight cold temps and offshore breeze overall similar to last night but not quite as cold 41 Monterey 39 Santa Cruz 38 Ben Lomond we saw low 30s a couple of nights ago we were at 29 in King City tomorrow morning we'll do 34 35 Hollister 36 Gilroy plenty cold enough to bundle up dress in layers the other thing that could get you if you're heading into the Central Valley that Thule fog is going to set up late tonight from Merced all the way down to Bakersfield so 99 in the five going to be impacted there if you're traveling that way do be careful as you come over from uh, San Luis Reservoir if you've done that drive and I have and you come down over the pass there boy you just descend into a whole different world and it can be real cold and nasty in that fog in the Central Valley this time of year 62 to 66 for us tomorrow sunshine mild afternoon light breezes and here are the high temperatures tomorrow so after 30s and 40s in the morning we're back to middle and upper 60s this should be the peak of this warming trend for Thursday afternoon by Friday we'll probably lose a couple degrees and then by Saturday and Sunday, the bigger changes start to arrive, mostly in the form of temperatures, but some clouds too. So we take it into Thursday nice. Friday still really nice, getting a little cooler. Saturday is cooler, but not much happening. Saturday night into Sunday, though, we start to see the clouds coming in and maybe some rain on Sunday, and that could lead into some leftover showers on Monday. Temperatures only going to be in the 40s in the hills over the weekend, at least Sunday, Monday, and 50s. Uh, down along the coast and for the valleys. Overnight lows will actually come up with the clouds over the weekend, so upper 30s to middle 40s. Some rain showers probably Sunday night. And then we get really cold early next week for the morning lows. We'll be down at or below the freezing mark for the valleys and upper 30s to around 40 at the base. So we'll continue mostly cold.